Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about all of my Amazon Prime Day recommendations. I will put the dates here up on the screen because I always mess them up and I have dates in my head but more than likely they are wrong. So I'll go ahead and let you guys know when you can shop the sale. This video will be up well in advance so that you can add the things to your cart and then you can check out the day of the Amazon Prime Day sale. I am not sponsored by Amazon. This is not a sponsored video. These are just my own personal thoughts, the things that I use all the time. And I also made it a point to make sure that I only picked the things that I buy from Amazon exclusively. There have been a few products that I've tried on Amazon that I've went to actually purchase them in the store just because we're all a bit wasteful, but I try not to be too wasteful. I get to prevent excessive cardboard usage. Sometimes I go to the store and I just try and pick up things. However, my stores don't carry all that can be found on Amazon. So I'm highlighting those products here today. I don't know if you can tell, but I look a little crazy. I started lining my lips and then was like, oh wait, let me wait to start the video before I line them because it was actually a lip liner that I purchased on Amazon. So then I started to comb my hair and I was like, oh wait, let me record that too because I actually purchased this brush on Amazon. So today we have a lot of hair care, body care. We have jewelry, we have makeup, clothing, supplements. I just, again, I picked the things that I always, that I like need to go on Amazon to buy. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I can't just go to ShopRite Target and find these things at least near me. I'll go ahead and link my storefront down below. It'll be one link. You can just click that link and shop everything that is mentioned here today. This is not a sponsored video. I am just a human who shops on Amazon <laughs> suggesting the products that I really enjoy that I think you might enjoy. However, if you do shop my storefront, I will make some money from Amazon, not from you. I make like honestly pennies. I think one of my subscribers bought something that I recommended recently and I made like 25 cents. I'm just making this video because I need to create content and you guys like to hear about the products that I have my hands in. So here we are. And I also just really enjoy making content and I really enjoy curating my storefront on Amazon. It's not about the money. None of this is about the money, but let's go ahead. Let's hop into it because I look insane and I want to go ahead and finish what I was doing. So let me finish brushing my hair. You can buy these at a store. However, the shop right that I have near me, I went and I tried to buy more. They didn't have it. I am someone where I love online shopping, but if I need like one thing, like if I need my proteins, which we'll get to, like I don't wanna buy one thing. I wanna like make it worth the trip. And also on Amazon, I'm like that person where I always say to um, box as many things as possible together. Like I will, I pay for Amazon Prime, which makes zero sense because I always choose the option to ship things in as few packages as possible. So I never really prime anything, if that makes sense. I don't like an excess of cardboard boxes. I feel bad about it. I hate that my husband has to like schlep them to the recycling center, so on and so forth. But like, look at my hair. How big of a difference does this make? I own about three or four of these. I keep one in my work bag. I keep one as a floater that I put in any handbag that I'm using for that day. And I also keep one in my desk at work. So, you know, I have long hair. It gets unruly, it gets frizzy, it gets tangled, especially in the summer heat. I love this. Now, we will pop right back to hair care products, but let me just pop into my lips because I wanna finish overlining my lips. I don't know if you could see this half of my lips. I used the Rimmel and Cappuccino lip liner. It's a darker brown. Definitely a darker lip liner for me, but I have really been gravitating towards it recently, especially since I just dyed my hair a bit darker. I'm just, I'm all about the brown vibes, which is so weird. For the longest time, I enjoyed being a blonde with my vibrant pinks, but now I just want everything to be chocolate brown. My hair, my makeup, I like these. They're not too creamy. They have more of a stiff formula, which is my preference. And I like that they are easily sharpened. Some other lip products that I only buy on Amazon because I can never find them in stock in stores. I find that NYX and ELF have a lot more on Amazon than they do in store. And everything's always sold out. Like ELF is forever sold out. NYX, these fat lip oils, I love them. You guys know I have so many colors. I talk about them all the time. Newsfeed is a beautiful red and I have Scrollin, which is a brown, like a honey kind of brown. And I also have Miss Call, which is my most used lip gloss. However, 
whatever. I think I left it at the beach house. But again, I will link it down below in my storefront so you can shop all of the colors that I recommend. I'm gonna add scrollin to my lips. Actually, you know what? Let's hold off. I am gonna add that, but these e.l.f. O-Face lipsticks. This is the one that started my obsession. I bought it on Amazon. This is the Red in No Regrets. I love this formula. It's a matte in the sense that it does not add any shine to your lips, but it has a satin-like formula, so it's not super dehydrating of your lips. I own so many of them. A lot of the times these are sold out when you go in store, depending upon where you go. I know that Ulta does a really good job of stocking them if you are someone that likes to purchase things in store. However, if you're going to go to CVS, Walgreens, Dwayne Reed, wherever else you may think that you can find these, a lot of the times these are not sold in store. So your best bet again is Ulta if you want to do a brick and mortar purchase. No regrets, no doubt own it, standing ovation, and dirty talk. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and put a little bit of standing ovation on. Now this I bought at Ulta, so I'm not gonna lie to you. But again, you can get this on Amazon. Just like a dusting of a pink underneath, and I love this color with my hair. And I am so obsessed with these lipsticks. They're so, so good, they're very long lasting, and they are extremely comfortable. And then I'm gonna put a bit of of scrolling on top. Now these are just beautiful. They're juicy. They fill in fine lines of your lips and you're just going to see how plump they make my lips look as they sink in and hydrate them. I love the doe foot. They are a bit messy. Sometimes it gets a little messy when you pull it out. I don't know if you could, I don't know if you could see. So just be sure that you're not getting it all over your clothes. Just be gentle, take your time. They're really beautiful. They come in an array of colors and I love every color. When I first got this and I saw this color, I was like, ooh, I don't think I'm gonna like that. But actually it looks really pretty on my lips and it's like a brown kind of coppery tone that matches the state of which my hair is currently in. So I really like it, highly, highly recommend. When I lived in my apartment, years and years ago. It feels like a totally different lifetime, the apartment that I used to live in. Um, I used to have a super stocked Dwayne Reed. I'm pretty sure it was a Dwayne Reed right around the corner from my apartment. Like my apartment was terrible. I had terrible times, big bugs that I can't even think about. However, it was a moment in time that I appreciate. I was very proud of myself for being able to afford my own apartment. But anyway, my location of my apartment was lit. I was right next to a Trader Joe's, an Ulta, a Dwayne Reed. I had my gym where I went all the time. I did a bunch of yoga, Pilates, boxing. Oh, it was a good time. It was a lit time. The location, chef's kiss. However, that Dwayne Reed, I would light up that Dwayne Reed. Like I would go in at night after work, buy things. I'd go to the gym after work. After the gym, I'd go to the Dwayne Reed. The Dwayne Reed was lit. Honestly, I feel like I should take a road trip to the Dwayne Reed. When I would shop in that Dwayne Reed, I found this beloved lip liner. I talk about this all the time. It is Koki in the shade Dusty Rose. It is a retractable lip liner. You never have to sharpen it and it keeps its shape really, really well. It's creamy, but it's not too creamy. And that is just like a sensational, beautiful color. I loved and adored this lip liner so much so that when I finished it, I had to go on Amazon and repurchase purchase it. The Dwayne Reed, the Walgreens, and the CVS that are in the close proximity of me did not have this. And I don't know if Target sells Koki. So I went online, I bought this and was like, oh, the formula, I need to try a different shade. I went and I purchased Warm Nude, which is one that I've been wearing a lot this past month. It's definitely going to be in my July favorites. Like a pinker peachy tone. It's super beautiful. Again, this is just my vibe. All three of these shades. Again, this is Warm Nude. This is Dusty Rose. And then that is Rimmel and Cappuccino. But these are just lip liners that are so popular. Well, I don't know if the Koki ones are so popular. But I've heard a lot of influencers talk about Cappuccino by Rimmel and I couldn't find it anywhere so I had to get my hands on it. Similar story to this lip liner. I buy all my lip liners on Amazon, okay, in case that wasn't clear. I don't think you need to spend a lot of money on lip liner. Wear the ones that I'm mentioning today more than I wear any other lip liners, which I didn't realize until I sat down and like pulled all these things. And when I was trying to pull them from my collection, I couldn't find them because I have three different bags packed from this past weekend. It was July 4th weekend this past weekend. And I had every single lip liner that I'm mentioning in either my travel makeup bag, in my pocketbook because I wore it, in my work bag because I wore it to work last week. So yeah, these are my most worn lip liners, all from Amazon. Alana Davison here, I follow her. I love all of her vlogs. She's such a good YouTuber, a good time. I just enjoy her content. But she mentioned this and she has 
beautiful, delicious lips and she gets them done and whoever she goes to does a beautiful job, but anything she puts on her lips, I think like, oh, if I buy this lip liner, I will have lips like her. No, I need to get injections to have lips like her. This is ColourPop, their lippy pencil in Ashton. This is my least favorite formula. The color just like is enough to do it for me. It's like a warm, but kind of like cool toned brown. It's a good like neutral brown, very creamy. I like more of a stiffer formula, but it is really pretty. And again, it kind of goes with the brown vibe and I'm really enjoying very cool toned pinks. And this is a beautiful color to go with a cool toned pink lipsticks. This is a really good shade. Three more lip liners, all from the same company, Honeybee Gardens. I love Honeybee Gardens. This is an Island Spice. It kind of is like a warm brownishy mauve. This might be my favorite overall formula lip liners that I've ever tried. And you guys know I sing to the high heavens how much I love MAC, but I honestly think these might be better. Island Spice is my favorite. First color that I ever purchased was Fantasy because you guys know I love Tati Westbrook and Tati loves this shade. Tati has blue eyes and I feel like she's more into shades like this because they help her pop. I know it's like a very subtle difference, but I like Island Spice more than I like Fantasy. That's just a little bit too berry for me. This is probably my second favorite. This is just a really interesting lip liner. This is in the shade Zen, a really simple, natural looking lip liner. One of my subscribers a while ago had mentioned that she was losing pigmentation in her lips. And I think that if you are someone that has an issue as such, like this is really good. Of course, it depends on the color of your lips. But it kind of has a see-through, it's not too opaque kind of a lip liner. So I feel like it will look really natural on a lot of you. And so I highly, highly recommend. I really love this Avene thermal spray. Now I will tell you a bit of a story. Yesterday it was like 92 degrees. We were down the shore because it was, it's July 4th weekend and we were at the beach and I got really, really hot. And I buy this every year at the start of summer because it's really refreshing. Now it comes in this aerosol can has a really nice mist, a really nice spray. It's literally just spring water in a can, a little pricey for that. I think it's like $10 for this little guy, but I love how convenient it is. It stays cool all the time. You don't need to put it in the fridge. You don't need to store it in a cool spot. I just, I can't explain it. I have no idea, but it stays very cool. So I got really hot on the beach and honestly, I almost fainted yesterday. I got really sick. I got nauseous and dizzy and I didn't bring this to the beach. But I do bring this with me when Mike and I are like bopping around running errands when it's warm out. I bring it on my way to work. I keep it in my work bag because it's hot. I walk like a mile and a bit to work. So when I get there, I'm hot. When I'm walking to the bus, I get hot. So this is just so, so good. I really love this. It's a great makeup setting spray. Good to like prep your skincare. If you do a layer of your skincare and then you need to go on the sunscreen and maybe your face isn't moist anymore, just to like give it a good slip. I really love this. Also the e.l.f. lipsticks that I mentioned a bit ago, I will link a video right here that shows you each and every shade that I try on. I realized that I didn't swatch them. I feel like I've talked so much about them here on my channel. You guys know enough about them. So I will just simply link that short form video where I show you each and every color and you can check it out um, and decide which color is right for you. Love these little Amazon puffs. They come in, I think it's like a set of six. They are a savior, especially during the hot warm months where, you know, I set my face before I leave the home, but sometimes I need to set a bit more during the day. Sometimes I get a bit sweaty up here and I don't like my hair to get greasy. So just a good powder puff mixed with your favorite powder. I love these little holders. Now I'm not a big beauty sponge, beauty blender kind of girl. I love my brush. Brushes. None of my brushes have been purchased on Amazon, unfortunately. However, I get a lot of questions on my brushes. So if you want to see a makeup brush video, I have like my loves that I keep. Look, it's in a little ghost. How cute is that? A little ghost candle. I kept the holder because you know I love ghosts. I love Halloween, but we're not going to talk about Halloween because it's still summer and I'm not going to do that to you. It has the vents. So, you know, if you're on the go, you're bopping to and from, or maybe like you like to use a beauty sponge, I just feel like this is hygienic because you can wash it and then you can put it inside and it's not gonna get moldy because it has the vents. So this is so good. These different brush holders, they're magnetic. I have my like eye brush holders, so like skinnier brushes in this smaller little case. And this is just rubber. So if it gets dirty, you can just wipe it off. And then I have a larger one with like my bigger base brushes, like my foundation, my blush, bronzer. So these are two different sizes. I don't know if you can tell, but these are game changing. I love them because I just keep my brushes packed all the time. Sometimes I'll just 
take these out of my travel bag, which I'm gonna show you in a second because I did buy it on Amazon. I'll just lay them here on my vanity. I'll just do my makeup out of these. This way I can just throw them back in my bag. But honestly, I love them so, so much because they keep the inside of my bag clean because I'm not getting dirty product for my dirty brushes all on the inside. So it's just really convenient, really compact. It helps me stay organized. This bag I bought on Amazon, it's just like a bucket bag. It holds a lot. And honestly, I can put more in here. Lazy Her, that's the name of it. But it makes me feel, not lazy, it makes me feel really put together. I love like a bag you can just throw things in because it's just, it's convenient. I like it. But I, a part of me needs a little bit of organization. We all need a little bit of organization so i like that it has the depth to just throw but then it also has side pockets where you can keep things like i have my rare beauty stuff oh my gucci perfume i was wondering oh because it's open i was like why does it smell so potent in here oh my god i love gucci bloom oh my god so good two pockets on this side where i keep like my eye stuff so i have eye drops i have oh these hair clips that i did want to mention i love these hair clips i think they came in a set of six i keep a pair in here I keep a pair at my vanity. I actually took them out here to talk about them. Now I can put them away. You can totally get these at a store. I just, this is like something where I wanted specific ones. And so I purchased them on Amazon and I just, this is what I do. So that I can really bring my contour up into my hairline. I can bring my bronzer into my hairline. Or like, you know what the point where your makeup is due because you haven't powdered yet and you don't want your hair to get like greasy? That's when I use these. I love, love, love this makeup bag. And that says a lot because I own so many freaking makeup makeup bags it's like it should be illegal this is kind of an exception as well i mean you can totally buy opi nail polishes at target at ulta ulta has a really nice array of opi nail polishes however i don't i no longer have an ulta that's really nearby me i love nail polishes i paint my own nails i've been really lazy lately however i'm gonna paint my nails that is the goal i'm gonna do it this weekend well, it's Sunday. So I'm gonna do it at the beginning of this week. This one is one of their newer ones from their summer collection in You've Been Red. So I just felt like mentioning them. Again, you know, OPI has an array of colors. So if you go to the store and you don't see something that you like, the Ulta nearest me has a really nice selection of OPI colors. However, the Ulta near my mom has a very select, like, I don't know why they only have greens, they have blues, and then they just have like all of the nude shades. I like fun shades. You can keep them on as long as you want or as little of a time as you want. It's just, it's fun to mix it up with color. Um, so I thought I would mention that. I've never used a nail polish remover that has taken my nail polish off as well as this. This is Mineral Fusion nail polish remover, non-drying and acetone free, but my Lord, it takes the color off really well. Granted, you're gonna have to take your polish off with one cotton round and then go in with a new one, add a little bit more to take off the excess. It can get a little messy and get everywhere, but it's so good and I don't feel like I need to use half of the bottle to remove my nail polish, which I hate when that happens. And I find that a lot of nail polishes that you can buy at like CVS, like CVS brand is trash, okay? It's trash. Let's do skincare really quickly. You guys know I love my New Face microcurrent. I recently purchased this on Amazon. Where do they sell New Face in real life? Sephora? But Lord knows, I hardly ever go to a Sephora. No, that's not true. I go to the Sephora near near my job, but I've never seen a new face in there. I guess I really haven't had to pay attention because I've owned my new face for like at least four years now. I wonder how long they're supposed to last. I went on Amazon, very long story short, and bought this. This is the Hydrating Aqua Gel. It is the activator serum. So I put a little bit on my face and then I use my new face. If you don't know what it is, it's literally a microcurrent device that helps to tighten the muscles in your face to help lift everything. I love that it's like a little pumpy guy. You can put it on your face and I had to mention this because it's a recent Amazon purchase and I'm so glad that Amazon carries it. I'm an advocate for the new face. I'm an avid new face user. Ulta does sell this. This is the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I love to use this on days when I want to gua sha. It gives a really nice slip on days where my skin just is finicky. It feels like nothing on your skin, but it's super, super hydrating. But the reason why I didn't buy this at Ulta is because the Ulta that I go to near me doesn't sell the jumbo size. I think they only sell the one ounce and that's just not enough because I use like an entire dropper at least if not more when i use my gua sha because you don't want it to pull on your skin because that will defeat the purpose of you gua shaing. now this is something that i tried to find today when mike and i went shopping shop right that we went to was the larger shop right that's a bit of a drive away from us and they have an entire userin section they have an entire spf section but for some reason i have not been able to find this userin dry skin daily hydration cream it has spf 30. all the userins at shop 
ShopRite. Didn't have any SPF in them. I found one user in SPF and it was SPF 50, which I have, I own and I love, but I go through this one so much more. Lotion that I literally use every day before I leave the home. I use the user in SPF 50 on days where like I'm going to the beach or I know I'm gonna be outside for a longer period of time. But this is like my everyday lotion. I cannot tell you how good this lotion is. Like Mike hates SPF. He hates putting on SPF and I am like an SPF advocate. I think it's important to protect your skin from the sun, but you know, he always says he doesn't like the feeling of sunscreen, but I'm always like, feel me like, sir. And he's like, you never feel like sunscreen. And you want to know why I never feel like sunscreen? Because I use this. It's literally like body lotion with just like the added benefits of SPF and you would have no idea unless I told you. I recommend this to everyone and their mother. I went on Amazon today and I bought a pack of two because I went through this in two months. This is like the third bottle of this that I own, um, but it's really, really good. Highly recommend. This has really come in handy. I don't know what happened, but I just have been breaking out on on the backside of my legs nonstop and also my tushy. I don't know what's happening, but I follow a dermatologist here on YouTube and she had mentioned this. I tried this. I literally get in the shower, I dampen the back of my legs, and then I take about a dime size amount of this. A little goes a very long way. Put it on my hand and I just lather any section where I have body acne. You can use this on your face. I will never use this on my face because I have very, very, very sensitive skin. But my acne is so much better than it was at the beginning of the season, which is so great and kind of shocking because I'm just sweatier than ever. But really good, I leave this in my shower. I love it and it's really helped me with my acne. Hair care, it seems like all the hair care that I own, I literally have only bought on Amazon because I can't find them when I go to the store. So for shampoo, I'm a little excessive. I use two different shampoos. However, I find my hair gets really oily. I get a lot of buildup because I only wash it twice a week, but also I need something that's gonna help to strengthen my hair, not strip it. So these are the two shampoos that I use. I'm thinking about mixing it up. I'm doing some research, but I have been using this for a really long time. My hair, just like, I don't know. I, it's strange because I used to be a lot lighter and my hair was healthier when it was lighter than it is when it's dark. Riddle me that. I don't know, are any of you hairdressers? Any hair remedies, leave down below. Oh, that reminds me, literally every single thing that I use to hair oil, I bought on Amazon. I've been doing it for over a year now, a year and a half plus, and I've noticed a really big difference in my hair. However, I don't know what's happening. She's fried to bits recently, but I will go ahead and I will include all of my hair care, all of the oiling products that I use to hair oil. If you don't want anything about hair oiling, it literally helps to hydrate your scalp, to help bring circulation back into your scalp so that your hair grows healthier, grows longer, and it has made honestly such a big difference in my hairline. I actually just uploaded a new short I did like a recap of my hair oiling, so I will link that here. And all the products that you view in this video that I just linked will be included in my Amazon storefront. So I use the tea tree special and it helps to break up the oil in my scalp. So I would say I use about a dime size of this, rinse it out totally and completely. And then I wash my hair again. I kind of like double cleanse my hair. This is the Paul Mitchell Super Strong Shampoo. I don't know why this one is so hard to find. I have all of the other colors. This is like hidden deep in Amazon. Um, but again, you don't need to search because because I'm gonna link it for you down below, but this is my favorite. And I noticed that my hair just feels stronger when I use it. Scoonchie clips. Ah, uh, your girl's got a lot of hair. Can't find any other hair clip that holds my hair up the way that these scoonchie clips hold my hair up. You can totally find these at the drugstore, but I find that Amazon always sells three packs and my local store has three packs of other ones, not these specific ones. So I always buy these off of Amazon. This one lost a leg, but they're still usable. I really enjoy them and yeah, they're my favorite hair clips. So if you are someone with a lot of hair, girlfriend, get yourself these massive butterfly clips. I've talked about this so many times. It's a wax stick that helps to smooth your hair down. So it will give you that really chic, old money, Hailey Bieber, slick back kind of hairstyle. I really love this. I just like matte my hair down with this. It's so good. This is the SNTE Hair Wax. I had to mention this. I feel like I've been using it so much lately, especially in the summer where my hair, like I've only been washing my hair twice a week, but I get really sweaty. So I could probably wash my hair a bit more than I do, but I don't. Got to be. This is an eyebrow and hair gel. I have not used this on my eyebrows because I feel like it's like gel and I feel like it might stick to my brows too much. But what I do is, can you see like these crazy little guys? Can you see them up there? See, let's just 
tame them. Look at that. We're tamed. She's tamed. Look at that now as opposed to this side. So on days where it's just humid and gross and I know my scary little flyaway hairs are coming out strong, I bring this with me and it's great because it's lightweight. It looks just like a mascara. I just plop it in my bag. I go on about my day and I don't have to worry about looking like I have alfalfa sprouts coming up top of my head. My supplements, I buy the Alive Vitamins, which my huge ass container is downstairs and I'm too lazy to go get it, but I need to refill this. This is a multivitamin because I don't like pills. And then these, unfortunately, it's ashwagandha and magnesium. I find them to be really calming. I should probably take them because I can't lie. I've been a hysterical mess the last couple of days. I honestly wasn't even going to film today, but I figured this would be good for my soul because I enjoy doing it. So that's why I'm here. But um, yeah, magnesium to help calm the nerves. And I buy these both on Amazon. Miscellaneous things. My fan. I cannot have this video without mentioning my fan. I've turned so many people onto this fan. So many people have bought this fan. And I'm a little upset because again, I only make like 25 cents. <laughs> whenever you buy something from me on Amazon. But so many people have bought this fan before I made a damn Amazon storefront. I'm a little bitter about it, but this is the best fan if you're hot, okay? I bought the neck fan from Amazon, printed out the return label, and she is going back because she is terrible. This does not cool me off the way that this little handheld guy does. It has two settings and I just, I also didn't have her on the beach yesterday and I should have, like it would have really helped me cool off, but she's so good. She has a little strap so you can put her around her neck if you want or you can wrap her around your wrist. It's really good, especially with all this hair, like mama's neck gets really hot. My fan that I keep on my desk, you guys have seen her many times. She also has two settings. I keep her on my vanity or the other day we were getting our air conditioning fixed and they had to turn off the AC. So I sat at my desk over there and I worked and I just used my little desk fan. And I'm a sweaty bitch in the morning. I just find that like I work out and then I have to rush to take a shower and then I have to rush to get on the bus. So I just feel like all the rushing, I don't give myself enough time to cool off before I get dressed in the morning. So sitting down to do my makeup with this fan is a must. It is a must. And honestly, I rely on my fans a lot. I need them. And if I didn't have them, I would be really, I would just be an emotional mess. I just think, cause like who likes to be hot? I hate being hot. I also had to mention my Lululemon bag because I bought this on Amazon. You could probably find this elsewhere and you can definitely find a dupe. You do not need to spend the Lululemon money. However, I'm a little bouge. We all know this. So I purchased this on Amazon. It is great. It holds a lot for a little bag. I go on walks with her. I'll run to shop right with her. It's just like an easy bag when I don't feel like carrying a bag, especially when it's 95 damn degrees out. Like I just want to put it around my waist and forget about it. I don't want my massive like leather bags sticking to me. So good, especially if you're someone who lives a very active lifestyle. I just bought another one of these, but I always buy my, this brand, this yoga brand. I always buy it on Amazon. I bought this one. This is a yoga mat. So it's like a thinner kind of like grippier mat. It has this really pretty sun in the middle of it. I love blue. I've just been really gravitating towards the color blue lately. I just find it to be really calming. So I had to mention this and I also bought a bright, orange one that is a thicker material from the same brand. I got them both on Amazon. I just find like Amazon has more of a selection in terms of designs and colors. However, I know that you can find these kind of yoga mats at Target if you were to go to a Target. They had a minimal selection and I needed options. So I bought the really thick one, which is perfect for me at the beach house because I work out outside on the pavement and it gives a good cushion. I also have to mention these tweezer gurus. They're so, so good in grown hair. At least that's what I call it because that's what I use it for, but really spiky, sharp edges really good. I absolutely love these tweezers. Let's talk about this mishmash in front of me. I could have organized this a bit better. I should have included this with the hair. This is just like a hair turban. I owned the Aquis one for a really long time and then I found that Amazon had like a three pack and I like these better than the high-end Aquis one. The Aquis one is double the price for a set of three from these Amazon ones. I love how soft they are. They really help my hair dry quicker, get it out of my face so that I can do my morning skincare routine if I wash my hair in the morning or my nighttime skincare routine if I wash my hair at night. It just helps to get your hair out of your face so you can move on with the day. Also sometimes, you know, I'll leave my hair wrapped, I'll do my makeup. It's good to get out of the face, but it also helps your hair dry a little less frizzy. Still frizzy, but less frizzy than if you were to let it air dry. These little Amazon sets, like I said, when I'm working out at the beach house, I'm working out outside and it is 
hot. I own this set in so many colors. I have this lilac, I have an emerald green, I have a dark brown, I have a yellow. I have so many colors of them. Really cute bra. I like the um, kind of like U shape, very flattering, very feminine. So I like that. And then they're just very short, like biker shorts. So you have this little set. They're really comfortable. Honestly, I'm sure like you could find something of better quality, but I'm the kind of person where I work out like seven days a week and I sweat a lot. So anything that I'm gonna sweat in, like I wanna look decent and I wanna feel decent, but I'm not gonna spend like $75 on a pair of yoga pants. I believe this set was like 20, 25, and that's why I just stocked up because I'm like, you know what, it's hot. I like the shorts, they're comfortable to work out in. You can squat in them, feel comfortable. They have like a really thick band up top, so you feel very secure and kind of like sucked in and like honestly supported, which I personally really like. Some other random things that I really love, these Nugo bars, they have 11 grams of protein. I just, they're good, they're chocolatey. I love chocolate and I love peanut butter and they just like taste like a yummy dessert. The added benefits of a bit of protein, great for me when I'm on the go, when I'm rushing, when I'm running. Collagen pepper tides you guys know I use my vital proteins every day in my coffee I have the to-go ones and I also have the massive tub that I need to reorder tonight actually because I'm running really low but I just it's good for your hair skin and your nails but I like just making my cup of coffee putting roughly like 20 grams of protein in my cup of coffee and that's how I start my day in order to get the gains in my fitness that I would like to see like physically I need to eat more protein and so this is a surefire way to kick it off I buy these for the beach house or like on days where I'm running out the door and I always honestly make time for coffee if there's one thing I always make time for it's a cup of coffee so nine out of 10 times, I will just use the big jumbo bucket, but these are nice to have. And one pack of these has 10 grams of protein. So I'll do one cup of coffee with this, another cup of coffee with another one. I usually use two. Also these socks, I love these socks. I think six pairs are in like one set. So I have 12 pairs of these. I love them because they're not short socks, but they're not tall socks. They're like mid socks. I find like they're trendy and I don't know what it is. I like a little bit higher of a sock. I mean, I'm from the generation where it was like no show socks. Otherwise you were a weirdo. Long tube socks. I personally feel like a weirdo in, so I can't, but these are just comfortable. It's like training wheels for people who are millennials who grew up with no shows, who would be mortified to wear high socks, very comfortable, whether you're just walking, whether you're working out, whether you're going to sleep. I don't have a lot of jewelry from Amazon, but I think I have enough. I would say like, I'm really loving this evil eye, heart with an evil eye in the middle of it, this dangly earring. It looks really expensive, but I purchased her on Amazon and she is still available. Great news. So I will link her down below. You guys know I love evil eyes. Um, I have <laughs> this evil eye here. And then I also bought this evil eye ring on Amazon. I want to say like a few years ago, at this point, I bought this ring for myself. And then I recently bought a backup because I panicked that maybe it would go out of stock. And I bought one for my mother-in-law as well because she complimented me. And I just, it's so pretty. I love big chunky jewelry. I, I, I think it's clear. The turquoise is just like the perfect kind of like summer pop, vacation pop. It's just a really fun ring. Granted, you know, it's not real. So she does tarnish, but I mean, come on guys, I've had this for like three or four summers now. She's in mint condition. You would never know that I've had her for so long. I will have to find these down below, but just gen generally, generically, I often wear these Amazon chains just to like mix it up to give a little bit of chunkiness to my outfit. So I like this one better and I like to wear the toggle in the front. It's just fun, but I get a lot of compliments on this one. A lot of people think this is something with a V. Monica Veneta, is that what it is? A lot of people ask me if this is Monica Veneta and I say no. This one lady, I think it was at Nordstrom, I was in the jewelry section and she complimented me on it. And, and I was like, oh no, it's from Amazon. And she thought it was Monica Veneta. But I said, no. And she's like, how much did you pay? I think I paid like $15 for this. And she said that Monica's things go for like 200 bucks for like chain necklace like this. I like them for a pop of something just to give a little bit of attitude to the outfit for I think both of them were like 12 to 15 dollars so I will find them or similar ones and link them down below also you know everyone and their mother I bought the Bottega dupes I 
honestly don't wear these too much, but whenever I do wear them, I'm like, gee, Fortune, why don't you wear them more often? I bought them in silver and gold, so I have the set. Like, I didn't just buy one in one. Although, honestly, I was holding that up and thinking that could be fun, just like to be different. I love mixing metals. I love it. I know some people are like cringe about it. I don't know. I find it to be fun. It's like cool girl, like edgy. It gives like a carefree vibe. I don't know. Tell me what you think. What is your thoughts? on mixing metals, I wanna hear. But I might wear one in one. That could really be cool. But what I was saying is that I have like the full pairs. So I have two gold and I have two silver and I think I bought them in a pack. I think the silver and the gold came together and I think you can pick like different options. I also love these earrings so, so much that I bought them in two different sizes because I couldn't decide which size I like better. But they're just like triple earrings. It's like three hoops connected in one. So it's like a three in one earring. And then I bought this bigger size. I'll actually do one in one. This is the difference. This is the smaller one. And then this is the bigger one. And the bigger ones are a lot bigger. But what I love about them is they're hollow, so they weigh next to nothing. They're super, super comfortable. And I get so many compliments on them. And they're chunky. And I love, I love a gaudiness. Like this is a vibe. Like a white t-shirt with a bunch of jewelry. I love. Those are all of my Amazon recommendations. Again, be sure to click the link down below where you can shop everything just in one centralized location. Again, I'm not pushing this to make any money off of you. I'm just saying if you enjoyed or are interested in any of the products that I mentioned today, I'm just making it convenient for you to shop them. I would love to hear though, what are some things that you've purchased from Amazon that are like your must haves, you need them because I would love to check them out myself, buy them during the Amazon Prime Day because you can bet your bottom I myself am going to be shopping as well. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up down below. This way I upload more content like this. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I would love for you to become a part of my family here on YouTube. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.